Good morning guys and welcome to a new vlog today. I decided to go to Cycle Bar at the very last minute, kind of, because I was like, you know what, I don't want to go. But I definitely know I'm not going tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be so much fun. I have like two Galentine's parties that I'm going to and I know no one at either of them except for like the host. So this is going to be fun. I mean, I might know like one person at one of them or like a couple, but like not a lot. So I can't wait for that. I'm thinking about doing a get ready with me video. Probably not on TikTok. I probably might do it on YouTube. I'm still debating. I have no idea, but I cannot wait to get all dolled up for that event. I want to take, like, I always have this in my mind. Like I might want to take a new profile picture for like Instagram and like YouTube. I don't know. I love my YouTube one. I probably won't change the YouTube one. I absolutely love the current photo I have so probably won't be the YouTube but my goal is to get like a picture with the shadows like I did for my Fabletics post but with like my hair curled and makeup done with like a cute like black shirt on um the one I got from Lululemon it's kind of like I don't even know what to call it it's like a crop top I really want to get a good new profile picture for Instagram because I'm not feeling the one I have like it's all right but that's a goal of mine. But today I am going to hopefully go to this new soft opening. It's not a soft opening. I guess it's like the grand opening of this like little boutique near my house. So I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna vlog. <laughs> Sherry was like, she's probably getting bored of my same content because she's like, oh, maybe you can like go and like vlog a new store that's opening up. And I was like, okay. So like their opening's like at 11, which I'll definitely be there. Um, and I'll probably buy something to get my free swag bag or something. I don't know. But it was funny because I was like, oh man, it's always you and Wendy. And then one of my other friends is always like trying to give me ideas. And then like, I feel like half the time I never take the idea, but this idea I'm actually going to run with because I kind of, well, number one, I want to see it. Number two, it'll be a little bit different than the normal go to cycle bar, chill out and like, I don't know, do housework. <laughs> so it'll be a change of pace and it'll be fun. So I hope you guys are excited like I am. I'm actually listening to like some new songs. I love that song like Murder on the Dance Floor and then Dance You Out of My Head. Love those two songs. I discovered this like new Taylor Swift song but it's like actually old. <laughs> I guess I never really listened to it. I think it's Is It Over Yet or whatever. It's the one with like flashing lights and she says that. I was in the operating room and that song came on like, I knew it was Taylor Swift. I'm like, what song is this? So I like looked it up and I'm like, oh, I already purchased it. Cause I, I purchased the 1989 album. I just am the type of person, like I only listen to the songs like I know, I kind of like ignore the rest. So I didn't really know I had that one until like just now. Made it. And I literally just forgot. I really need to check the shipping on my Galentine's or Valentine's pajamas. Cause I ordered it from Walmart and then they're like, oh, it's delayed. I'm like, I kind of need them by tomorrow. So if I'm not going to get them in time, I'm just going to return them and I'm going to find, I'm like going to go to Target today or something. And also too, I don't want to like break the bank for like pajamas. There's some like a Victoria's Secret, like I was looking online, but I'm like, I do not want to be spending that on like pajamas I'm going to wear like once. Cause I don't like sleeping in like satin stuff. I like more cotton and I don't like wearing pants when I sleep. So like, you know, I'm just... I don't know. Okay, so just got out of spin. I, I'm thinking I'm going to go to Starbucks like normal and then I'm going to go to this like opening of the store. I think I already said that. But I was also contemplating on going to Target for the pajamas because the ones that I ordered from Walmart aren't gonna get here in time. So I think I'm just gonna cross my fingers that Apricot Lane by my house will sell some. They'll probably be like overly priced, but number one, I'm supporting a small business. And number two, like it's a local business. So I'll feel like good that I'm like supporting local. Um, I really didn't want to do that, but it's fine. If not, then I'll probably just end up going somewhere tomorrow, like Target to get some pajamas but I'm just gonna like fingers crossed that they have something that I could use I really don't want to have to make like three trips <laughs> that sounds so lazy but anyway I need to get gas so I'm gonna have to make three trips anyway 
but you guys know what I mean. Like, I don't want to have to stop out of my, because Target is not even like close to my house. Like, it's out of the way. Even in this Winter Garden location, I mean, it's 10 minutes, but then it's like further away from my house. Like, and I'm going home to go to that store. So, yeah, I am going to get on the road now. I swear some of these tops are getting tighter. We made it to Apricot Lane. I'm so excited to check this out, but sorry if I get like just some vertical shots because I think I'm gonna make a TikTok about this. So yeah, anyway, just wanted to preface that. Everybody is here, the chamber, oh my god, everybody from Apricot Lane Boutique headquarters who's held our hand for two and a half years. Absolutely. Um, everybody who's here, you could have been anywhere else, but you're here with us. Thank you so much, the people of Celebration. Thank you for following us on Facebook for two and a half years. <laughs> We're finally opened and we hope you really enjoy um, being our friends. We could not be prouder to say that we're excited for this opportunity to be part of this community and to be part of the Apricot Lane family. It's just amazing. Chris, thank yes, you. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you. We're so excited for Ellen and Richard and family. The perseverance and dedication to get to this day and to celebrate in such a special place. We're so excited for you. We're grateful to have you in the family. And we're excited for the community of yes. celebration. Yes. You've got your favorite place to shop. Yes. I assure you, coming soon. Our so, come, come see us. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Let's cut a ribbon. Yay. All right, we're going to count down. Oh, okay. Ready? Yay. Three, two, two one. <laughs> okay, so this store actually pulled through because I think I'm going to get these for the pajama party. Um, they're super cute and they do look like pajamas and stuff and I can just like get them here and like know I have like cute little Valentine's Day pajamas. I'm also going to try on this shirt. Okay guys, I literally can't. This top is so cute. Um, I think I might wear this to the Valentine's Day party tomorrow. I don't even know. Like I can't even describe how cute this is. So, <laughs> wow. Oh man, I just got that like sweater. I just got that heart sweater. So I don't know, but I absolutely love this. This is definitely a hit. You're the owner, you don't have to tell me. Oh! Okay, so I just want to do a little haul of what I got at Apricot Lane. So I want to do a quick haul. The owner stopped me when I like got into the store to like say hi and welcome me. She was so nice. I honestly forgot her name. I'm not even going to lie, but like I was in time to like see the ribbon cutting and everything. I was like, oh damn, okay. So I shopped a little bit, tried things on. As you guys know, like I needed to get like some Valentine's Day stuff, even though I already had one, but like I just fell in love with the red top. But I think I was a little too late for the swag bag. So that's kind of low key sad, but it's fine. Um, but when the owner like came to like welcome me and say hello, she was like, oh, I was like, oh, I'm just taking video for like a TikTok and stuff. And she was like, oh, are you the influencer? And I was like, no, but I do like YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. It was so funny. I guess there's supposed to be an influencer there. No one that like I thought was an influencer was there. Like anyone that I thought was an influencer, I didn't like recognize or know. So 
I thought that was kind of funny because I was the one like getting all the footage of like the ribbon cutting. I'm like, well, you would think like if there was an influencer that was supposed to be there, like they would be at the ribbon cutting to like get that shot. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but to each their own. I had a great time and experience and everyone was super nice and they had such cute stuff. I did get a free gift though because I spent over um, $75. So I was a little late for the swag bag. <laughs> But I got this. It's Brewmate. As you guys know, I got like my first or ordered my first like little Brewmate thing. It's like on back order, so I'm just waiting for it to like. Well, I did the pre order, so. Anyway, it's this really cool thermos thing. I have no idea, honestly. Well, let's open her up. Look, we got the little Brewmate sticker. And then. Okay. Oh. So this is like to hold a seltzer. See, like you can see the can in there and this is to keep it cold. Well, that's pretty neat. I mean, I don't drink things out of like cans like that. So I might re-gift this, not gonna lie. It's a great, really nice gift. And, and Brewmate's not cheap. So like low-key kind of impressed that this was the free gift. Okay, so my camera actually died. So we're just gonna roll with the phone, but like I said, I could give this to my parents or I could just re-gift it. It's a really good gift. Like, that's really nice. And then I got the red top. You saw that. And then the little set, the pink set. They're kind of wrapped up, so I don't want to, like, show them. But that's what they look like. The two colors. I'm impressed. And I'll definitely be back here for, like different occasions and stuff. Also too, everyone was like dressed up for this grand opening and here I come with like dirty hair, just got done with my spin class, just like wanted to stop by to see it and like making the um, ribbon cutting everything. I don't know, I just look like a hot mess and here's everyone like all dressed up. Like it's kind of funny, but anyway, congratulations to Apricot Lane. It's so cute, and I'm gonna head home now. Had to share with you guys. Look at these crab legs. Valerie made these tonight. They're so good. And then we also have some corn. Yum, yum, yum.